welcome back my dear boys and girls we are moving to part 2 of chapter 6 world after 1945 in the previous section we have discussed about the united nations charter and cold war uh, and its reasons now today in this section we will be discussing the world distributed among army group armament disarmament nuclear weapon creation and its applications and rise of independent nations in asia and africa okay let's start the section come to page number 4040 first heading the world distributed among army group one of the most important aspect of the conflict of ideology was mutual distrust and sense of doubt on the intention of the rival group yesterday in the section we have discussed about the, the world has divided into two power group a uh, power block america and russia so one of the most important aspect of the conflict of ideology between russia and us was mutual distrust donom ko aapas mein vishwas nahi tha and sense of doubt on the intention of the rival group moving to fear born out of mutual distrust and doubts both the power established their own military base donom ko aapas mein vishwas nahi tha ha united nations tha fir bhi donom ko vishwas nahi hai to kya hua दोनों उनके सपोर्ट के लिए इधर उधर उनका मिलिट्री बेसिस रेडी करना शुरू किया लेड एंड इंस्पायर्ड बाय अमेरिकन वेस्ट डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्रीज ऑन द नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ओशन एस्टैब्लिश्ड ए मिलिट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नोन एज नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ट्रीटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नैटो इन एप्रिल नाइनटीन ओके so north atlantic alliance this is known as north atlantic alliance or nato north atlantic treaty organization on the uh, under the leadership of america britain they uh, they started uh, making friendship with the, the countries the democratic western democratic countries of north atlantic ocean and they made a military organization called nato to protect southern eastern countries from the onslaught of the soviet union communism america and england established one more military organization in 1954 hamara textbook mein 1945 likha hai some textbook uh, please cancel that and write 1954 and the organization which they formed in the south eastern countries that is known as south eastern asiatic treaty organization or ciato okay so nato and ciato now other than this they formed one more organization one more military organization that is central asia treaty organization called as cento was established in middle eastern countries under the leadership and inspiration of england uh, originally this was known as baghdad pact hmm? or the middle east treaty organization in 1955 by iran iraq pakistan turkey and united kingdom its uh, headquarters banaya tha baghdad mein in the year 1955 to 58 and uh, ankara uh, that is in turkey in the year 1958 to 79 later it was dissolved in the year 1979 so they formed a new organization called as cento considering all the central asian nations here various arab countries joined as cento later america took over its leadership pehle england ne shuru kiya tha cento but iska leadership baad mein america ke hath mein hand over kiya tha so america is doing all these things whether russia will sit quietly no so what happened russia started making their own organization to balance the power sab jagah pe balancing hona chahiye to defend against the increasing influence of nato ceto 
സോവിയറ്റ് യൂണിയൻ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് എ മിലിറ്ററി ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഫോർ കമ്മ്യൂണിസ്റ്റ് കൺട്രീസ് ആൻഡ് നെയിംഡ് ഇറ്റ് വാർസോ പാക്ട് സോ ത്രീ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ അണ്ടർ ദ ലീഡർഷിപ്പ് ഓഫ് അമേരിക്ക ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നാറ്റോ സീറ്റു ആൻഡ് സെൻഡോ നൗ അണ്ടർ ദ ലീഡർഷിപ്പ് ഓഫ് റഷ്യ ഓൾ ദ സോവിയറ്റ് കൺട്രീസ് ജോയിൻ ഓർ കമ്മ്യൂണിസ്റ്റ് കൺട്രീസ് ആൻഡ് സം കൺട്രീസ് ഹാവിങ് ദർ ഓൺ ഐഡിയാസ് സിമിലർ ടു റഷ്യ ദേ ജോയിൻഡ് അനദർ ദേ ജോയിൻഡ് എ കോണ്ടാക്ട് വിത്ത് റഷ്യ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് മിലിറ്ററി ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഈസ് കോൾഡ് വാർസോ പാക്ട് നൗ ഹവ് യു ഹേർഡ് അബൌട്ട് ബാലൻസ് ഓഫ് പവർ Balance of power refers to the policy of a nation or group of nations to protect itself against arrival nations by balancing its power against its rival nation which we saw here in Warsaw Pact. Just like America has made groups with its own balancing for Russia has made its own group. The nation does this by expanding its power through armament. Now, let us discuss about the another important topic that is Cuban crisis. Before starting Cuban crisis, in our textbook, we are having armament, disarmament, nuclear weapon creation and its application. Okay, uh, that I am giving you an uh, introduction. but our main topic is cuban crisis as you know the cold war which was meant for dominance over the world gave rise to fierce competition among superpower and for the sake of dominance armament race was given high priority dono ka jhagda chal rahe matlab ideas ideologies ke upar jhagda chal rahe but at any time the war will occur so in such a situation സൈലൻ്റ്ലി വോലോ ഉൻകാ സേഫ്റ്റി കേലിയെ വെപ്പൺസ് കളക്റ്റിംഗ് കർണ ശുരു കിയ ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ആമമെൻറ്റ് ആംസ് മീൻസ് വെപ്പൺസ് അമേരിക്ക ഹാഡ് യൂസ്ഡ് ആറ്റം ബോം ഫോർ ദ ഫേസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഓൺ ടു സിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ജപ്പാൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹിരോഷിമ ആൻഡ് നാഗസാക്കി ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് ആൻഡ് ദസ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് വേൾഡ് വാർ കെയിം ടു ആൻഡ് എൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻ നോ and this is the way how america showed the world that we are also super we are supreme supreme power but ye dekhkar soviet union ko chup baith sakta hai no within 4 years that is in the year 1949 soviet union proved its capacity of making atom bomb by conducting a nuclear test and thus created a power balance dono equal equal ho gaya that is why i told you about the balancing of power in the previous section now this balancing of power or power balance between the superpowers uh, america declared a blockade of the communist to cuba blockade means blocking or preventing which was on southeast you know i have put the map of world map i have given here that i will show you in the next clip there you will see cuba the position of cuba is in such a way that north america or south america ke beech mein caribbean sea hai aur sea mein ek chhota sa island hai cuba okay you know north america and south america they are democratic countries but cuba is a supporter of russia and it is a country which is following communism so america declared a blockade of the communist cuba cuba ke upar ek blockade that is a preventing rule dala to defend cuba against possible attacks of america russia sent ships loaded with the nuclear missiles in the caribbean sea to jab us uske upar blockade dala unko help karne ke liye russia cuba ke wo caribbean sea mein uska ships leke aaya ha aur you know donon ke haath mein abhi weapons hai kaun sa weapons hai nuclear weapons hai aur abhi ek war shuru ho gaya to pura दुनिया खत्म हो जाएगा 
हियर कम्स द क्यूब एंड क्राइसिस दिस इज ये दोनों का बीच में अब भी झगड़ा हो जाएगा ऐसा वो सिचुएशन दैट इज अमेरिका इज रेडी विथ ऑल वेपन एट द सेम टाइम रशिया इज ऑल्सो रेडी दैट सिचुएशन इज कॉल्ड क्यूब एंड क्राइसिस नाउ कम टू द सेक्शन क्यूबा लाइज ऑन द साउथ ईस्ट ऑफ अमेरिका नियर करीबियन सी और अमेरिका फ्योर दैट सोवियट यूनियन माइट लॉन्च न्यूक्लियर मिसाइल्स ऑन अमेरिका सो America declared a blockade of Cuba which had a communist system of government on the other hand Soviet Union sent its ships loaded with the nuclear missiles in the Caribbean Sea due to the fear of attack on Cuba by America thus both the superpowers threatened each other to use nuclear weapons the world was almost on the verge of a nuclear war pura duniya aisa soch rahe the ki abhi abhi war shuru ho jayega ha eh? continuing with the same point this is part of cuban crisis when you are writing short note on cuban crisis both these clips you should add finally leaders of both the superpowers talked on hotline for the first time pehli bar donom ka leaders hotline that is through phone they started a conversation and soviet union declared that they are ready to withdraw their ships and america also decided to curb nuclear missiles aimed towards cuba क्यूबा के ऊपर दोनों जो आ, अमेरिका जो मिसाइल्स लेके बैठा है वो निकालने के लिए विड्रॉ करने के लिए अमेरिका रेडी हो गया और अमेरिकन शिप्स के ऊपर जो रशिया का जो भी शिप्स रेडी था वो भी विड्रॉ करने के लिए रेडी हो गया दिस वे द टेंशन बिटवीन द टू सुपर पावर्स डिक्रीज the whole episode is known as cuban crisis in history certain experts consider that cuban crisis is the beginning of the end of the cold war you will get a question cuban crisis is considered as the beginning of the end of the cold war give reason now please see this in the picture i am explaining this now come to see the picture which i have presented see cuba you can see it is at the circle kiya hai dark small circle kiya that small island that is cuba at the end of north america and you can see you could see north america and south america donom ke beech mein cuba cuba is in the caribbean sea so america they are having their land already Uh, and uh, they are having their long range missiles are ready to attack cuba and russia uska position dekho africa ke upar russia russia was ready with uh, their uh, missiles and their weapons and this is this situation you should understand this thing okay now moving to partial nuclear test ban treaty that heading is not there in our textbook but before that i would like to explain it to you america the soviet union and the britain agreed on maintaining control over nuclear production experiment and proliferation what do you mean by nuclear production nuclear energy ka manufacturing then experimenting it and proliferation proliferation means breeding reproduction multiplication so here we will go with multiplication that is manufacturing in huge number and this agreement is known as nuclear partial nuclear test ban treaty as you know france they have refused to sign this treaty america soviet union and britain they told other member nations to sign this treaty france reject kiya china also reject kiya because china had already conducted nuclear test in the year 1964 this treaty imposed ban on conducting a nuclear test in open atmosphere that was the problem un logon ke paas nuclear weapons hai to hamara jaisa hi poor nations ko weapons nahi banane ka hai so many countries against were against like like china france they were against and of course except communist china the other four were already permanent members of the united nations security council they all have the veto power huh? 
which one america soviet union britain and russia oh, sorry russia and china and uh, except china they were the permanent members of united nations now see this is called uh, partial nuclear test ban treaty in the next paragraph we are discussing about the chemical and biological weapons apart from nuclear weapons and missiles the superpowers have also developed chemical and biological weapons have you heard about chemical and biological weapons the speciality of this weapons is that they these weapons they are having the capacity to destruction of destroy a lot that is mass destruction can kill millions of people without damaging any materialistic wealth people would die miserably while suffering from various diseases because of this lethal weapons for example best example i can tell you you remember the movie krish there kuch virus dala aur jo bhi wo virus ke aaju baaju mein pass ho raha hai sab सफोकेशन जैसा ही हो रहा है हॉस्पिटल पहुंचने के पहले सबका डेथ हो रहा है वो याद है क्रिश उनको हेल्प करने के लिए जो जा रहे दैट्स इट दैट इज केमिकल या बायोलॉजिकल वेपन्स कोरोना इज आल्सो एन एग्जांपल फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ वेपन्स Cuban crisis is considered as the beginning of the end of the cold war give reason as i told you we have discussed this in the two clips back so i am not going into detail you can read and write this into your notebook now come to page number 4040 last paragraph during these decades many important and far fetching changes took place in international politics owing to many reasons the cold war among superpowers also ended and so nuclear ban treaty helped in this concern india has always welcomed this treaty but it is always a supporter of disarmament the world will be always in danger until the disarmament of lethal weapons is not done india after its independence and before its independence also was a great supporter of disarmament now come to page number 41 first heading rise of independent nations in asia you know by the year 1947 ah uh, that is 1946 mein humne should 45 में हमने शुरू किया था दैट इज सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वार के बाद यूनाइटेड नेशंस फॉर्म किया फिर 45 फाइव टू सिक्सटी टू वी आर कंसिडरिंग एज द पीरियड ऑफ कोल्ड वार सो दैट ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस नाउ इंडिया अचीव्ड इट्स इंडिपेंडेंस इन द ईयर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन आफ्टर ए लॉन्ग फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल owing to britain's policy of divide and rule and certain other reasons the country was divided into two nations namely india and pakistan which we have discussed in detail in the previous section in the same way with continuous struggle against britishers countries like sri lanka and myanmar got independence in the year 1948 please underline first line india achieved independence in the year 1947 then third line Sri Lanka and Myanmar got independence in 1948 then next line Indonesia in the year 1949 then Laos Cambodia and Vietnam also got their independence so uh, in the case of Indonesia United Nations played a very important role and they got their freedom in the year 1949 same way Asian countries like Laos Cambodia and Vietnam also got their independence and today's last topic rise of independent nations in africa the second world war proved to be a good omen for the enslaved nations of africa after the second world war countries like abyssinia that is our ethiopia south africa and egypt were independent the second world war and the freedom struggle in asian countries inspired the other african countries too it resulted Uh, in that during the tenure of 
16 years from 1951 to 1966, 40 small and large countries became free. See, 1951 say, 1951 say, 1966 tak, bohat sara countries ko khud ka freedom mil gaya. Imperialistic countries tried to have supremacy over these countries, but these countries and either joined the superpowers or the military resources and got their freedom. Jab freedom mila, tab they started joining either the side of America or the side of Russia. Hmm? Now, in the next section, we will see the another group which I have discussed with you in your 8th standard. We are having two superpowers and another power is also coming that we will discuss in the next class. Last but least, our worksheet, worksheet number two, only very few questions are, I am discussing with you. Uh, come to our textbook, page number 45, question number, section one, question number six. Write short notes on military blocks, NATO, CETO, Warsaw Pact. Everything I have discussed in the worksheet. Uh, eh, here in this clip I have discussed. If you are not getting, we will discuss. I will write it and give you in my lecture, in the next lecture that is after Deepavali. Okay. Second question, answer in detail. What is nuclear non-proliferation treaty? Why India has not signed it? Answer I have written here, you can copy this answer into your notebook. First, we should uh, write the explanation of what is nuclear non-proliferation treaty that we have already discussed in the clip which is discussing about nuclear non-proliferation treaty. Hmm? So, that you should copy down that is America, Soviet Union and Britain agreed on maintaining control over nuclear production, experiment and uh, proliferation and that is known as partial nuclear test ban treaty. Nuclear non-proliferation treaty and anti-missile treaties were framed to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and missiles in other countries of the world. United States has forced that that India should sign the nuclear proliferation treaty and comp comprehensive test ban treaty. But as the both treaties were or harmful to the national interest, India did not sign it. Why India did not sign it? Because both treaties were harmful to the national interest. So, we sign not Okay. With this, we come to the end of our today's section. And I would like to tell you that you complete this uh, answer into your notebook. Those answers you are not getting, we will discuss it after our vacation in the coming sections. We will discuss, we will complete the notebook. But aaj tak jitna humne likha, explain kiya hai, wo aapka notebook mein hona chahiye. Okay? And you will be writing the answers of the question paper. That is the examination unit test, fourth unit test which you have written on 28th Wednesday. That you will be writing one time very neatly into your notebook with the heading fourth unit test. Write the question and write the answer one time. Okay. That is compulsory and complete the notebook till date. Okay. After Diwali, hope we will meet in school. So, have a nice vacation. Enjoy the vacation. See you later. Bye.